So our project is uh, Theodore Roosevelt's stewardship theory and William H. Taft business slash labor effect. So the square deal is a big part of uh, Teddy Roosevelt's ideology. Uh, it precedes uh, conservation of natural resources, uh, consumer protection, and uh, control of the corporations. And he was very opposed to the fact that a very select few controlled most of the wealth in the nation. And he believed it to be a great threat to the democratic principles of America. And he wanted to help out the middle class and in turn uh, maybe raise the lower class up also. And he used the uh, Sherman Antitrust Act to attack monopoly and trusts. And he enacted lots of laws to regulate railroad, food, and drug companies. But he did not want to completely abolish corporations because he believed them to be natural to the market economy. And he worked to create a fair balance between the corporation and the workers. In addition, um, Okay, he was, yeah, uh, he was opposed to extreme union demands because he, he wasn't very um, extremist, he was a bit in the middle, so he was, wasn't all for uh, destroying corporations and trusts, but he wasn't all for the, like, uh, listening to like, the demands of the unions. Okay. Um, Example of how um, Theodore Roosevelt solved the uh, problem pe very peacefully. Well, this coal strike started first as like a chain reaction. There was a depression in 1893, which resulted in the cut of wages of all workers, and that caused a spontaneous uprising, which led to a signed contract with the uh, United Mine Workers by the company owners that increased the wages, but not sufficient enough for the people to live to live with. So the, uh, the union again started a uprising which demanded more money and recognition, which led to the strike on September 19, September 1900. And well, that strike didn't go well because during the 1900s there was a election going on which led to political pressure. And they ended the strike because of the pressure. So um, the unions didn't get what it wanted, but it got a small increase of wages again. But it didn't get recognition. So that led to that and thrust that and thrust strike coal strike in May 12, 1902. It was the union mine workers versus the mine operators, and the main goal of the unions were gain recognition and the increase of wages. And this was a real problem during the time because winter was coming. <laughs> coal was really um, an important source of heat during the time and it was a real necessity for the people. So Theodore Roosevelt had to call in both parties to resolve the problem. So this coal strike is an example, I said, of a peaceful re resolution because unlike his pres precedents, president, 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 <laughs> Jackson, uh, Andrew Jackson sent um, military um, armies to put down this, put down strikes in Chesapeake and Ohio. Ruth, Ruth Ford B. Hayes sent um, military powers to clear the issue with obstruction of mails in like 1877. Yes, yeah, so there's a Pullman strike which Hoover Cleveland also sent military power. But however, Roosevelt tried to talk it up peacefully and then eventually he had to use threats, but it went out well. Ended well. Uh, 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 Roosevelt thought there was like serious changes that were needed. Um, so like the problem was that like uh, trusts were sacrificing like people for the good of their own and then using elected uh, officials um, and then so Roosevelt made uh, use of the term antitrust act which was uh, basically useless in the beginning but uh, he made use of that to like bust trust uh, <laughs> uh, Roosevelt uh, dissolved 
J.P. Morgan's uh, Northern Securities, which was a railroad company. Um, but it was like uh, every time Roosevelt busted a trust, like it was very uh, biased. Like he only chose companies that he didn't like and stuff like that. And uh, he basically like the ones he thought were doing bad to the economy or people or something like that. Uh, which was biased, but he, he, uh, like a lot of people loved him because he just was an awesome president. Uh, and then William Taft uh, did a lot, uh, did a lot of things that Roosevelt did, but the problem was that like he just destroyed all trusts. Uh, and when he broke up uh, U.S. Steel, uh, Roosevelt got really angry, but he, Taft was the president, so he couldn't do anything. Uh, uh, railroad regulation. Uh, Roosevelt, as mentioned before, uh, Roosevelt uh, dissolved the Northern Securities. Uh, he also created the Elkins Act, but it was like useless because like they found a lot of loopholes through that. Uh, co companies found a lot of loopholes, and then uh, Roosevelt passed the Hepburn Act, which made Interstate Commerce Commission stronger to regulate railroads, and then. Um, Taft uh, fixed the Elkins Act and created the Men's Elkins Act to uh, do what the Elkins Act was supposed to do, which was set up a uh, higher price to regulate trade. Um, consumer protection was also a kind of a part of the square deal thing. Um, it was a first. It was a response to unsanitary conditions in food plant, food plants, food. Yeah, food plants and all the bulk wreckers. That how they exposed the unsanitary conditions of places like this was very shocking to him. So he tried to push through the Meat Inspection Act and the trip to the drug after 1906, which was first at, at first very um, controversial because the meat companies during that time had a lot of power. So a lot of people, first of at first disagreed with this act, but as it passed through, it helped prevent problems such as mislabeling and adulteration of goods, um, and it was a first step towards a safe and healthy product for the people to use. And at first it was also um, very disliked by the companies, but as time passed by, it became better because having the seal of Inspected meats and help um, production, like people, help people buy those foods. It, it, things there, like they trust the food and they buy it. So soon it was welcomed by meat and potatoes and also. So another big component of Teddy Roosevelt's square deal was environment protection and conservation. So as a young man, he was a very uh, avid hunter, took trips to Africa to hunt exotic animals, and he first realized the extent of the damage that. Uh, expansion in the West had caused on the natural environment while, while in the Dakota Territory. So how decimated bison and earthquake had become. And uh, during the presidency, he used the power to create the U.S. Park Service to uh, preserve over 230,000 acres of land, set up national parks, game preserves, and much more. And, but at the same time, he earned the enmity of many corporations with financial interests in railroads and other uh, oil and uh, commercial interests who had uh, as best interest in uh, getting resources and money out of the land in the West and which destroyed the environment in the process. So the main goal of his was to preserve the environment for uh, future use. Yeah, that's it. Yeah.